Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Can you say good morning, Miss Susan? Oh, good. Good morning to you. Let's start with the word of prayer, and then we'll start with our lesson. Father, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for each one that's in our class and for the big people that are helping us do our work. Help each one of the kids today to listen, to learn, and obey, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Our verse, first verse, Genesis 1-1, in the beginning. Everybody with me, okay? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, everybody sing with me. I want to hear you all. Okay, Joelle, Dennis, Angeli, everybody help me out, okay? Don't sit there like... Okay, everybody, let's hear you sing. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. This week's verse is found in John 1, 3. John 1, 3, all things were made by him. Let's say it three times, please, okay? All things were made by him. Two more times. All things were made by him. One more time. All things were made by him. Let's have our story today. Remember, Adam and Eve didn't obey God, did they? No, nope. God said, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But they didn't obey. And we call that sin when we do things that are not right. And they sinned, and then they had children, and because their children were born, and their children sinned, and their children sinned, and everybody sinned. They stole. They killed people. They lied. They were ugly. They just acted ugly. And God saw it, and it made him so sad. And as more, more people were born, and they grew up, they became just. The world was filled with people who just acted so ugly. There were some good people, but not a lot. There was one man by the name of Enoch that loved God. And he became a king, and he tried to teach the people to do what was right, and they would come and listen to him. But after he died, everybody started doing wickedly again. But what if he had a he had a grandson? He had a son whose name was Methuselah. Methuselah did right, and Methuselah had a son whose name was Lamech, and Lamech did right, and Lamech had a son, and his name was Noah, and Noah did right also. And God came to Noah one day and said, God, Noah, I want you to be my preacher. I want you to tell people to turn from their wicked ways because if they don't, I am going to destroy the world. And so Noah began to preach, but the people didn't want to listen. And they said, oh, oh, who are you to tell us what to do? Who made you my daddy? You're not my daddy. You can't tell me what to do. Go away. Mind your own business. We do that sometimes. But he kept preaching and nobody wanted to listen. And the world got worse and worse. And finally God said, Noah, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I want you, I have a job for you to do, Noah. I want you to build a big boat, big, 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 big boat. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to send water out of the sky. Water's going to come out of the sky, and we call that rain. It never rained before. And it's going to fill up the whole world. Fill up the whole world. And everybody's going to die. The trees are going to die. The animals are going to die. The people are going to die. Only those the people and animals in the boat that you are going to make live. So you need to build a big boat. God gave him the plans, told him how big and how to make it. He even told him what kind of wood. And Noah obeyed the, 
God's directions exactly, did exactly what God told the right wood, the, the right size, everything. And he got his three sons to help him. He had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the first thing they do is go cut down all the trees, cut them all down, split the wood, lay it out, get it nice and smooth, and then lay it out to dry. It takes a while for wood to dry so you can use it. So as they were cutting all that wood and splitting it and laying it out to dry, people would come by and they would say, what are you building over there? That's a lot of wood. I'm going to build a boat. That's a lot of wood, Noah. Well, I need a big boat because i got a lot of things to put in. Why are you going to build a boat, Noah? There's no water around here, especially not for a big one. Well, God is tired of everybody's sin, and he's going to send water out of the sky to cover the whole earth, and everybody's going to die, and all the plants and animals are going to die, and only those people and animals in my boat will live. If you turn from your wicked ways, I will let you in my boat. And they're like, Noah, you are nuts. You are crazy, Noah. But day by day, people would come by and ask him the same thing. What are you doing? Why all the wood? And I bet people stole his wood, too. He probably had to put people out there to make sure people didn't come at night and steal his wood. Because we know how people are bad. And they are thieves. So he started building and he built. And year after year, he built his boat. And day by day, people would come and children would come and laugh at him and call him Crazy Noah. And he didn't like that. It made him sad. It made his boys sad and their wives sad. It made everybody sad. But they obeyed anyway. They did. They let the people laugh because they knew if God said he was going to send water out of the sky, they didn't know how God was going to do it. But if God said he was going to do it, then God was going to do it. And they wanted to be in that boat because that was the only safe place. They believed God. The boat got bigger and bigger and bigger. And people would laugh and laugh and laugh. But they kept working. Finally, the boat was done and God said, okay, Noah, you need to start collecting grass. Start cutting the grass down and you need to put it out to dry. And your, the women need to get fruit and dry the fruit out and so that you will have plenty of food to eat. Because you're going to be in that boat for one year. You have lots of animals and the animals all need, they're going to need food and you're going to need food one year. So everybody got busy. The work on the boat was done and they started cutting the grass so it could dry. They started collecting different fruit and grains and things for the animals. Getting wheat or corn or whatever it was that God told them. Whatever God told them to collect, they collected. They got their fruits. They dried their fruits. They got everything, putting out and dry. And then they had to make sure people didn't steal their stuff. Because you know every but people... The thieves, they're lazy. Mm -hmm. So they did, and everybody said, no, well, what are you doing? I'm going in the boat. Oh, that's right. You need food, don't you? For one year, for me and the animals and my family. The time came when God said, okay, Noah, you have all your food in the boat. Now it's time to put the animals in. And God called the animals. He said, you, in the boat. And all the animals obeyed. They lined up boop, 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 two by two. Two elephants, a, a boy and a girl. Two rhinoceroses, a boy and a girl. Two zebras, a boy and a girl. Two ostriches, a boy and a girl. Two giraffes, a boy and a girl. Two by two by two, the animals all walked into the boat. And then there were some animals. God said, I want you to take seven. Sheep, cows, goats, and palomas, doves, those animals, because you're going to use them for worship, those I need you to take seven. But the other ones, two. One boy, one girl. Okay. So they collected the animals. And the animals all marched into the boat. Boom. Off they went. They did into the boat. And everybody was just standing there watching the parade. Everybody just marched into the boat. And when all the animals were into the boat, God said, Okay, Noah, time to get you and your family in the boat. 
So Noah called the family, and they went in, and he stopped one last time. Anybody else? Last chance. God is going to destroy the world. Only those who are inside the boat will be saved. Anybody want to come? Oh, me, 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 ha, 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 Everybody laughed, but nobody else got in the boat. It was Noah and his wife, Shem and his wife, Ham and his wife, Japheth and his wife. Four men, four women, eight all together. That was it. They all got in the boat, and then all of a sudden there was a big... God shut the door of the boat. So there they were. And people would come day by day. Hey, Noah. How's it going in there? No water yet, Noah. Don't see any in the sky. No water. And they would laugh. And kids would throw rocks. And they would have a fun time. Ha, 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 ha. And there was no one in his boat, and he waited. He didn't know when God was going to send the water, but God said, wait. And so Noah waited. The next day, day number two, people came by. How's it going in there, Noah? How's those animals? Mm, I bet it's starting to get stinky in there, all those animals. Mm. And they would laugh all day long. People would come, and they would laugh. Day number three, same thing. Knocking on the side of the boat. Hey, Noah, how's it going in there? No rain yet. And Noah waited. And Shem, Ham, and Japheth waited. And the women all waited, but nothing happened. Day number four. Day number five. Day number six. Day number seven. And everybody laughed and laughed and they know and nothing's happening. But then all of a sudden there was a big kaboom and the earth shook. And the earth shook and everybody got scared and they stopped laughing. They stopped laughing. And they started screaming because they were so scared. And they wanted to get into the boat. And they started banging on the side. No, I have! But Noah could not help them. <coughs> Noah could not help them because God had shut the door. When we come back on Monday, we'll find it, we'll hear the rest of the story. Noah obeyed even when everybody left. Even when he was the only one, even when nobody else was obeying, Noah didn't care because he believed God. He believed God. God said, I am going to do it. And that meant God was going to do it. God never, ever lies. If God said he's going to do something, then he will do it. People don't always keep their word, but God always does. The animals obeyed God. Noah obeyed God. Noah's sons and their wives all obeyed God. God wants us. To obey him the same way. Even if nobody else is obeying, even if everybody else is laughing, and even if we're all alone, God said, believe me. Believe me if I tell you something, it is true. I never lie. Our verse this week is John 1, 3. All things were made by him. Say it three times together, okay? All things were made by by him. Two more times. All things were made by him. One more time. All things were made by him. Okay, before you're done your schoolwork, schoolwork's not done today until you say your verse to, to a big, whoever your big person is that you're saying, doing your lessons with, make sure you say your verse perfectly. No mistakes. Come back Monday and we'll find out what happens with Noah.